Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I have a my first flip book. Flip book. And I'm loving it. Um, I've been touting Little Hot Tamale um, for the past few videos. Um, if you haven't checked her out, you gotta check her out. She's got so much talent and just a little tiny body. But um she has um, come up with this flip book. She uses it as like a pen pal kind of thing, which is really cool. But I kind of wanted to do more of kind of not mini album, but in this case, like a recipe book. But also kind of maybe like a brag book or a mini album or a journal. Um, like I was thinking this would be kind of cool for like December daily if you wanted to do just a, a week at a glance kind of a thing like me, because I get lazy every day. Um, anyway, so I made a recipe book. And this is um, Graphic 45 Times Nouveau. Oops, I'm gonna get in. there it is. I've got a ton of these collection type things where you get paper and embellies and alphabets usually, and I'm going to use them. I've been hoarding them because I love the paper, but it's just ridiculous to hang on to this stuff forever. So, I forgot I was going to put, I'm going to put a little lace or something on there. But anyways, so I made a recipe book, and I even glossy accented the, the letters here. And I have to tell you, okay, every single time I use glossy accents in a way like this, I got gloobers all over. I set it down in a safe place and think, okay, it's way out of my way. I'm not going to touch it. I'll let it dry. So this morning I did it, put it over on my work table, and I came to hear my desk here to work on other stuff. And then I thought, about two hours later, I thought, oh, I'm going to make some of these little flip books. So I went and got my folders so I could... Um, uh, craft along with little Meg from Little Hot Tamale. I had her video on, so I do it right. And then I went to put the folders down on my table. Darn tootin', I put it right on this letter, so you can kind of see where it got all gloopy. I swear to God, I cannot do this stupid stuff without sticking a finger or setting, like I'll set something on it, and then it's like, ugh. But anyway, so I digress. But there's, I don't know if you can see that. There, see how gloopy it is? Stupid. Anyway, so I used, um, I think this is from making memories from 800 years ago. Do you guys remember this? I think it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's making memories. But anyways, I was going through my washi and I kind of saw this and I thought, I'm either going to use this or I'm going to get rid of it. You know, like sell it or give it to my friends or somebody or do something with it. I um, mean, you know, like either stick it in a D-stash or whatever. So I thought, well, I'll use it. I love it. It's kind of like, um, it's really masky tapey because it's kind of the first washi tape that came out. I've always loved making memories. I don't know why they ever left. So it's like petals, kind of, but it's really cool. Like they pulled the paper off the dictionary or something or a letter. Anyways, so I use that here and there everywhere. And then doilies like Meg does. If you're watching Meg, I love your work. I haven't mentioned it yet. And so then here's this one. And then I f um, have some vintage, um, uh, what you call these, uh, recipe cards. And then I just put little tabs. They're like that little Jenny Bolin. Oops. I put little tabs on each page. So that if whoever wants, if somebody gets this or whatever, uh, or if I give it to somebody or if I keep it or whatever, you can put a recipe card on each page. But I didn't in here because I wanted to kind of leave it open. So I just did some little scallop trim and some lace. And there's some more of that stuff. And the washi tape I use is kind of, um, it's not of the, um, what do you call it, style of the Times Nouveau. So I kind of wanted it to stand out, but kind of just 
use it for the colors and not so much the design. And I really like how it turned out. And then here's this little secret book. And this is some washi tape I have. Kind of, you know, how your chores on every day of the week or whatever. And then that's just a October afternoon button. And then I put some more cards in here. And then I was going to like, um, I forgot to finish this. I was going to put like a little uh, paper, or uh, what you call it, stapler, just to kind of staple it. And then I was going to put like a little doodad up there, but I don't have really a doodad, but maybe like a, like a cute circle or tab or something. God, I hope you can see this. I, the sun kind of freaking out now. Okay, so, and then that's just um, the inside of that. So then they can make little notes. And oh, another thing I thought, um, I want to make one of these. I mean, I might just keep this. <laughs> Being that it's my first one, it's kind of a prototype. But I, I, I think this would be great, I thought, for all my canning recipes. And then I kind of put this on here so you could tuck it in. But I thought it'd be, you know, I've got so many canning recipes, just not a lot, but just so many, like, they'd fit in this book. Oops, wait, I gotta do the secret thing. Okay, then you turn it, and then there's, you can tuck something here, but I also have the little recipe tuck spot. And here's another one with some Dollar Tree uh, washi tape. And then I've just got another scallop, and and then here's the back. This is just a tag. These are tags from the collection. And then, like, you can put your name on there, or the name of the the book. You know, if you're doing a um, December Daily, you can put Week 1. And then here's the little tags. So if somebody wants to write on there. So there's my first flip book. I love it. I just love little compact things like these, you know, with a lot of secret doors and pockets. And so this is just the coolest design. So I already started another one. And oh, I didn't realize I got all that in one spot, but it looks okay. That was kind of not by design. <laughs> you know, sometimes the biggest mistakes are the worst. Mi or, like if you make a mistake and have to cover it up. It actually always is to a benefit, I think. At least mine has been. So there, there's my second one that I'm started. And I'm just going to, um, I, like I said, I want to use up that my collection. So I'm going to make a couple of these from each collection and then probably throw together some cards, like maybe no card sets or whatever, probably for craft sales. But anyway, so please go make one of these. It is so much fun. All you need are a file folder. And paper. So I've got one, two, three, four. Wait a second. One, two, three, five more to make with these. So um, thanks for watching. I put Meg's link on how to make these down below because I'm not going to try to reinvent the wheel or the instructions because she does a really good job at it. Real easy to walk through on that. So um, give it a try. Bye. I'm begging you to believe when I say I'll never leave them sway.